So good morning. Today's video is going to be on doing that same pocketbook thermos with the chain on it. Some people still not in my group is still not doing sublimation yet. So therefore, I had a couple of old couple of cups here. I have, three of them. I, have, I have two of them that was printed upside down. They are the sublimation thermoses, but we're not going to use it for that. We're going to um, do something with it, see if we can cover it up. So here's my picture. Normally for sublimation, we have to mirror it, but this time it's going to be printed out. And I'm not printing out, I'm going to print it out on a regular printer, the same one. And then we're going to apply some glue and put this on this cup. So here's my picture. And actually, it's not printed on the right paper. So this is typing paper. You don't want to use typing paper when you're using resin. So I'm going to print another one on 90 pound white car stock. So I'm printing out the new picture. This is, it says whatever. I thought she was cute and put her on here on the coach one. So, and this is the regular typing paper. I'm printing out the car stock one, 90 pound white car stock. You can get it on Amazon. I'm going to leave the link for you. I'm going to get my, my Mod Podge. Mod Podge. Yes. I always get the biggest one. So here is the paper, the thicker paper. You can see the difference. Because this one, you can see through it. And we were actually trying to cover up the colors on here. We don't want them to show through. And I don't know if I should put a, another color on top of it first. But we'll see. Let's cut some of these. Make sure it's the right size first before we start trimming. I just want to make sure everything lined up, everything good. And we can cut off all these edgings. Well, I told them the video was already something similar to that on there, but everybody want what they want. Oh, uh, they do another one. Cause I guess they got a lot of thermoses out there you can use. You get the thermoses from Walmart real easy. And I'm sure everybody got a whole bunch of messed up ones. I'm not sure do. Trying to do stuff when I'm tired. And that's when you mess up. <laughs> All right, so here's my picture. Nicely cut out. Put it on here again. Make sure everything looks nice and Everything fits perfectly on here. It might be a, a teeny bit. I might use a teeny bit off of the bottom of it. I'm gonna take a teeny bit off because you don't want it to be hanging over. So when you're using anything without that's, that's not sublimation, you're gonna have to do some. Use um the glue and stuff and risen. Alright, that work. I'm gonna start adding some mosh pies. I got my brushes. So like I said, I'm taking the cans that are already done because I don't want to throw them in the trash. I'm just going to add a layer of moss fries on all the way to the top, all the way down. And make sure it's not clumpy. And like I said, it's a lot of videos out here. Mine is based on my 
new beginner crafters. And I got a phone call from somebody. She said she started her own business. She's selling divas and she said she learned a lot from my channel. So, thank you. Makes me feel like I'm doing something. So a nice thin coat. I'm gonna put the picture on it. So basically, you can't really mess up here. See that? So it's, it's gonna cover it nicely. I'll be able to do the same style, just like the other cup. Just make sure it's even. Take your hand and smooth it out. You want it even. You don't want lumps in your cup for the new risen users. You don't want lumps in your cup for the new risen users. You better stay nice. Add some more glue. Just make sure it's not clumpy because you got to do a lot more smooth than if it's too much glue on there. So don't throw away your old cans, y'all. Don't throw away nothing because I'm sure I ain't the only one made mistakes on these sublimations by not uh, mirroring it. So the thing is, we're going to do this, this one layer underneath. And for the ones that already know, we had to do three layers. So the one goes on the inside and three layers on the outside, letting it completely dry for at least 20 minutes, 30 minutes before putting the next coat on. So this is not a one day, I mean a one hour thing. It's a little more patience and a little more time when you're dealing with this. So my group is crafting together as one it has a little small, a lot of little projects on there for beginner crafters to help you start your business. This is how I started by doing little things. Um, I pick up real easy when it comes to, to what the people are doing. And I try to come up with some of my own ideas. So it's called Crafting Together is one. To get in the group, you have to answer all the questions. And for the ones who's trying to get in the group that only just joined yesterday or day before, you're not gonna get in. We basically not gonna let you in because we don't know if you're scammers or not. So we're not gonna let you in. If you're a real person and you're an older person that never been on Facebook, hit me up on Messenger and we'll talk about it. There's too many people coming in trying to take advantage of people. So, it's the wrapping of the cup. Make sure the edges are nice and smooth. My paper slipped a little bit. Slit a little bit, so just push it down. And please get that ribbon on there. Get all these creases out. No creases. Sometimes you put the ribbon and stuff on it, you won't see the creases. a little off on the top you just take like a razor or something and trim it let it dry a little bit and just trim it off with some of these 
surgical razors that I got from Amazon. I'm going to make sure it's smooth. Um, let the inside dry a little bit. The underneath the first layer of glue dry a little bit before you put the next one. You don't want to rub too much because you don't want to rip the paper. So, there you go. So, this is it. I'm not going to go through the whole process. I don't want to mess with the risen. The top goes on here. Because I'm sure everybody knows about the risen. The thing is, you put one layer, two layers, one layer, let it dry 20, 30 minutes. Put the second layer, let it dry 20, 30 minutes. Put the third layer. The more layers you put on of the Mod Podge, the less chance it will bleed through the paper. You don't want it bleeding through the paper because you got color under here already. And the ones who don't have color on it, then it's fine. Now, I'm going to explain what you're going to do because I'm sure other people done done with the risen already. So I don't want to mess with it. It's too early in the morning and it, it smells bad. So, and we're done, be done eventually. So once you put your cup, Once you got your three layers, you got your three layers of Mod Podge on the outside. You got your your piece that you're gonna stick in here, and you're gonna put it on your cup spinner, so so it can spin. This is gonna hold on to the tubing on the outside, and it's gonna spin for you. So once you put that on, let it spin for at least. Let me see. Two hours, three hours, because it takes 24 hours. It takes 24 hours for, for it to um, cure when you're using the resin, 24 hours. So after this done spin for at least four hours, I say four to five hours, when it's not so sticky and not so tacky. You want it to be tacky, but you want it, you don't want it to be real wet where it's going to fall off so we're going to prep our tools for that here's the piece that we're going to be using i'll link it in the description so what we want to do we want to take this we want to take some tape on it and what we want to do to fix it so it will not fall down because when you're using risen if it fall down you cannot put the chain on it Cause you ain't gonna be able to get it off of there. So just add some of this tape to it. So I went and got the cuff press so you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's just imagine we already put one, two, three layers on here and now it's time to add the resin. So we're gonna use the tape. And we're going to tape up our tools and this is the piece we need make sure no tape is around there don't over tape it because you want to make sure you'll be able to get it off so we're going to tape up both of those with just a regular little scotch tape because the, the purpose of taping it is to make sure 
it stands up because we don't want resin on it. So we want to tape it and we want it to stand up because we don't want it to fall onto the cup as it's spin. So I got the spinner so that we're, I can show you what it is. And I, this cup press, it's nice. It's a four, it's a full cup press. I showed that in one of my other videos. You got two on this side and you have two on this side. So two more poles you can have to hang them up. So you got it. And they come with a bunch of sizes. So this one's too small. So I'm going to add, take two out of here. I'm going to add, put these back in. And see if that's enough. So that's that's still too much. So we got to take one off. Because you want it to fit on the Fit on here. Because you can put anything on a cup press. As long as you got the right size. So we're going to put that in there. That's a nice size. So you want to push it in. And I say, if you want to keep risen from getting inside your cup and spilling it, just put a little bit of the tape inside, the, um, some tape inside. I think it's that, that masking tape. Put it inside your cup, and that'll keep you from getting spills in there. So this will go on here. And you will spin it. You will spin your cup for, I say, four hours. Four to five hours. You will know when it's tacky enough. Because even at the hour, it gets tacky. But it's still a little not, it's not sticky enough. So, wait about three, four, five hours when you know it's almost good. Then this when you take your pieces that you all prepped up and have them all standing up like that. And then you decide where you want to put it on the risen. And you want to put this on the risen. Put it this way. It's going to stand up. Once you push this in that tacky risen, it's not going nowhere. Believe me, it's not going nowhere. And there's a point that when you're using the risen, it gets so tacky that you don't even have to spin it no more. So you can wait till it get to that point where it get tacky and you don't have to spin it. And then you just stick it in there like that. You just stick it in there and you let it set. And you make sure that it's not, it's not moving around. And then you put one on this side and then you put one on that side. Then once you put it on there and you know that it still needs to go on, you can decide, you, you would know whether it needs to spin some more. Because really the spinning part is only for when it's really wet. After a few hours, you can take it off, the spinner thing. After four, four or five, after four or five hours of actually using the spinner, you don't have to use it no more and burn up no electric. You can take it off. This cup press comes with these attachments. So you take it off and you hang your cup up. You put your cup in there, you hang it up. I still got some little creases in there. You won't see it with the risen, but you know, I like to make sure it's rubbed out. So you're gonna hang your cup up four or five hours. You can take your one piece, stick it here, and make sure it's nice and tacky, tacky, tacky. After five, six hours, stick that on there. Make sure it's up and down because you want to be able to put a chain and then let it dry. And then once you let it dry for till morning towards a glassy light thing, then you can add your chain to it. You add your chain to it, to that risen. And you'll have your, and you can still get that same cup. It just takes a whole lot more effort when it comes to doing it that way. And being that I'll use sublimation and I'm about to get the DTF which I'll be able to print and put them on the cup snap. So that will do a video on that. So once the risen dry, we're going to stick one here. Stick one there. Stick one there. And there you go. You can still have your same cup 
and it covered the one that I the one I messed up. It covered it. There you go. No problem. So there go your answer. I hope you like it. Sign up for my crafting together as one. Please subscribe to my channel and like. And ring the bell for father notifications. If you have any ideas of your own that you want me to try, I can try it. I can pretty much look at what anybody do and copy it. It's, it's easy. That way. So, there's my video. If if you don't understand the, what I explained, you can always go to my other video and look at how to add risen for the new people because there's videos on it and how to add. And she cute. And you don't even have to mirror it when you put it on this way. It's a, she says, what? Ever. That's right. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks for watching my videos. Good morning, y'all. See you later.